There are not a lot of good news days in climate change, and this is one of the best. This is a template for governments and steelmakers around the world to think about decarbonisation. This deal stacks up on just about every measure that you could measure it against. This is also incredibly good for the New Zealand electricity sector. Our intention is to install, install an electric arc furnace, you know, powered by firmed renewable energy and consume recycled scrap that would otherwise be exported. So I'm very pleased to be here today to announce what is by far and away our largest GIDI investment so far. $140 million of co-funding for the construction of a new electric arc furnace here at New Zealand Steel. This will be the largest single emissions reduction project in New Zealand's history. This is not about shutting down heavy industry. This is about inviting them in because we have a profound development resource here for renewable energy. And so if we can attract industry here, bring it on. This is not a pilot, it's not a trial, and it's set to make real and significant emission reductions. This is the single largest decarbonisation project in the history of New Zealand. 800,000 tonnes of carbon dioxide emissions that will not be going into the atmosphere every single year. To put that into context, that's the equivalent of taking 300,000 cars off the road. That's all of the cars in Christchurch, which we'll be saving in terms of the emissions that will no longer be being produced here. It is a very significant contribution to our efforts as a country to reduce our carbon emissions. And we can't underestimate what a big deal that is. Because this upfront investment now helps us avoid those liability costs of not cutting emissions in the future. And I would far rather be doing things like this than paying for other countries to be reducing their emissions. Aside from the, the social licence to operate, I think it's, it's the retention of a strategic asset in the country and being part of that building and construction supply chain. It's the 1,200 employees that work at Glenbrook. It's the 1,500 employees associated with the steel supply chain. So ultimately, you know, it's, it's the right thing to do, and I think it's the right thing for the country to do, and, I, and it's, it preserves the employment in its region, which is very important. It is incredibly good value for money. The, the electric arc furnace is a technology we're familiar with within the Blue Scope business. We have two very large furnaces operating in the US off a, a mature scrap recycling business that's on the track to make three million tons of steel. So as an organization, we are confident in the technology and we know how to run those businesses. So look, we'll, we'll look to increase our uh, scrap ratio as a pro proportion, so we'll reduce our coal proportionally, and we'll continue to look at decarbonising our existing iron making process from iron sand through the use of hydrogen and natural gas and other d direct reducing um, processes as we go forward.